one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. New set of Google Glass, so I'm gonna be getting used to making the buttons work correctly and stuff a little bit. I got a guy coming to pick up the Escalade today. Um, yeah, so going to get that done and see where we get to on all this. I think I'm gonna have to really switch things around for this. And I wish I'd have got a little bit of this swapped last night. But I didn't. Oh, it's chilly out, man. Chilly. Hey, there I am. <coughs> no, it's not chilly. It's fucking freezing. This little Volvo is a nice little car or truck or SUV or whatever the hell you want to call it. I drove it a bit. my neck down like a holy fuck I'm a bobber this is a nice infinity I'm gonna have to say easily with no even thought that if it comes between this this and this for me all day long it's the Escalade now Oh my god. There is some weird nut on this motherfucking thing. And I remember it now. It's gonna be a pain. God damn it, I don't know how I'm gonna get them off. And I gotta get these California plates off because somebody scratched the stickers off. I wasn't going to back up in here, but now I am. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I was going to check this before it gets on the road. Minimum. Looks fine. I'm gonna put some maybe to. I don't like that, man. That ain't gonna be fun. Wouldn't it be something else if I just got it first shot and they started coming off? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, buddy. A little bit of brake fluid. Even though I don't really even think it needs it. I'm gonna put a little for the hell of it. And this thing was good on oil. We're gonna check that too. Yeah, buddy, nice and clean, too. Man, I think this guy is good. Now that...
that's fine. In these, sometimes, especially going to Colorado, you want to make sure that um, you have antifreeze in them. California, be it right or wrong, it don't matter. It don't matter what you think about it. What matters is people just use water. That's it. It's not just some people, it's most people. Um, up until a certain point years ago, I'm guilty of it too. Old cars like that, like the old brick and stuff, water. Now, if I only had a nice paper plate, can't leave my keys in it. Have somebody come show up and just take off. Hell, they already got a bill sale. <laughs> wow, key fob works. Well, that's cool. You know what? Uh, I didn't realize these people had brought a car and they did they brought a they actually rented a car at the airport and drove from the airport to here and then they're going to go return the car now far be it for me to make fun but, really? I mean, Uber would be like 30 bucks. Now, although I just, when I said that, I realized that San Diego is the cheapest for car run all around. You could probably run a car in San Diego for 30 bucks a day. So, <laughs> I guess it don't really matter on that end. Um, I don't have what it takes here. Try and make that look a little bit better. Okay, here we go. I got my buyer here. This should be a pretty quick process. He should have already done all the paperwork. I will have to call and make sure it's all right. Should be all right. He seems like a richer person than would buy an older car like this. We'll see how this goes. He don't like Samantha already. He might not like me. How's it going? Good. What time did you guys leave Colorado? Six o'clock this morning. That's a pretty early flight. Yeah, pretty early flight. Got out of bed at Nathan. <laughs> Brett. Brett. Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. Google glasses, huh? I like them. Actually, like this all comes off. Really? It's my 12th set. I just got them yesterday again. Okay. They um, redo the warrant. They redo the warranty for three months each time. And this stuff, it all starts flaking off, and then I'll be going on the road and I can see you or whoever's on the side of me. But best thing I ever bought for like doing a video, making a something, and showing something on yeah, the car, yeah, I can't do that yeah, elsewhere. That's true. Holding it or something. Yeah, but for sure, that's how you make those videos. That's how I make I don't think that they'll ever, I don't think they'll ever sell them again. They had that one day. I was the big sucker, yeah. but other than that, well, at least they're under warranty. well, I keep, I ask them, yeah. don't, don't they just sell parts? They don't, they won't just sell that part, but they say you've got three months every time. I'm on 12. It's almost three years now. I figure every three months, I'm just going to keep making a claim. I could be the old, I've never ran into anybody with them yet. Okay. I've never seen them either. Really? No. That's interesting. Nobody really sees them. I doubt, <laughs> I doubt there's many suckers in the world. <laughs> you got to have a purpose. If you're, well, you know what? When I'm carrying groceries and somebody texts me, it's so cool. I just look up and it says it and then I talk to it awesome. and it answers and that makes it easy. That is handy. Some people, Comic Con, when I went to Comic Con just to walk in the streets with my friends, Everybody noticed. They thought you're Terminator or something. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, you kind of look like a dork. They ask if you're a jeweler or something. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at diamonds. Yeah. Did you open it up? No. Didn't know, what was you going to say? So what's the... Why Montana, California... Nobody wants this junk here. 
No kidding. I love this. This is what I like, and I believe, honestly, if you drive this nicely and put 30,000 miles on it in five years or something, it'd be worth three, four, five grand more. These are gonna go up. These are just, it's where it is. But nobody wants them. This area. They're not gonna put them on their lots. They're gonna, even the lots that are out here, they have everything like 99, 2002 and up. And so I've always been back and forth. I was born here, so I go back and forth and then you get in. up in Montana and bring them down. And then I get stuff like the Rover and this. There's thousand dollars due in DMV fees on them. If they miss one year, it goes 150. Then they start tacking it on. Five years, you're at a grand. That's where you get them up in Montana. They don't give a crap. They Absolutely. just give me a new one. So I'll do that stuff and take them out. I tell people I'm a green environment person. I'm saving cars. That's right. I mean, <laughs> just, I do too. It's ridiculous. I don't, that's the reason we come to California. It's like it's beautiful, but you just think of California, you think of regulations. There's so much oversight. We pay everybody to oversee everything to oversee every. We're, now you guys have been up there for a long time, ever. Colorado. Yeah. I grew up there. He's from Wyoming. Wyoming, you like it? I do. I like Montana. If we had work. I would be in Montana, I think. I got a ranch up there, I got a house up there, I got lots up there. I was gonna build a dealership up there, but I can't even buy nice cars up there. Uh -huh. That's anything like this up there, it's totally thrashed, the carpet's halfway gone, it's rust up in the quarters yeah. and yeah. Well that's why we got on eBay. We're like, well we need a new SUV. Yeah, we're staying away from the northeast. Okay, now when you looked at the eBay ad, yeah. did you look on your phone? Or did you look? I found it on my computer. So you found it on the computer. So all the pictures pop up on all the computer. The pictures, all the video. Did you see it in the video? That was my next question. Yeah. Yep. Huh, cool. Everything worked on the computer. I didn't, I didn't they, they're integrating now to where everything's on these phones. Four of these nationwide that we were looking at. But here's the best price. But it was between this. Pretty and clean. It's a clean one. So suburban. Exactly the same price. Really? I mean, yeah. Suburban, you know, in the year and everything else, there was three or four of them, and it's not like we kind of watched a couple of auctions going. It's like, all right, that's what I went for. We watched this one. That's what we went for. Look at yours, like. That's right where those others are right there. Let's just do it. I had a guy ask me on the front of this. Was it you maybe when you called about it? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was open. That's probably why I didn't open. What did he ask you? About if it had been painted in the front because this looked a teeny yeah, bit off. Me. That's that's if anything, that's what it is. Yeah. And it's that not, we got a and I was got a looking at this, look at this, I don't think that's been painted. I think that's some extra rocky chippy guards. I don't know. I really don't know. And it's on both sides. And I know how these bumpers go and get faded, but yeah, that it looks more like guard type stuff. That's not that painted, weird, it's it? thick. Yeah, they might do that from the factory. And I've seen it behind, you know, well, behind I think that, that tires before. Really fact, because it might just—it doesn't, and it, I don't know. It might just be a little crack, dude. I don't know. It might be stuck on there. So, huh? Anyway, that's not a concern to me. My concern is this guy right here. <laughs> this guy's in good shape, I believe. I'm gonna start it up while you're standing here looking at it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did that. It should be all. You just changed everything, right? Um, I believe this one had just been changed and the stickers and the one thing I checked because I worry because of you <laughs> is this. It does have red fluid. So okay. California is pretty famous for um hey, let's just put water in there. Yeah. Everybody yeah. just puts water in it, don't matter. <laughs> you going home, it could be a problem. Especially coming in, in December. I've had problems with that, taking them to Montana before. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not cool new freeze plugs and such oh, yeah. now the one question on your trip that okay I got the permit for you the only thing is I want you to be aware of that's new isn't it did you put that on no I did not but that does look new you got what is that, that oil that's air conditioner stuff isn't it? yes that's where in the video I was saying how it blows cold in the back and not the front yeah we thought we could charge the front so I had a guy try to charge the front it's not a matter of the charge, it's a matter of the splitter or some little thing in there that's not allowing it to split correctly. And so the back is cold as can be, front so, so cold. Once you're going for 20 minutes or so, it's all catch up and it evens out a bit. But so we tried to, we thought we could make, we thought it was kind of doubly charged and it'd take a couple cans and maybe right. make that front. No. So whatever that electronical piece is. So what on the. Okay, I hate these. Okay. And I hate these because what they tell you to do with them is to put these in your front window. 
No, yeah. So now you're going across the states yeah. with no plate on the back yeah. and no nothing. And they tell you to put it in the front, huh? Yes. So So we might uh, I would, until we get out of California and then stick in the back window. There's two here. So the links along. It's, it's this one go my suggestion is this. This one is the one that they want in okay. the window. This is kind of your receipt. I'm thinking put this one in the front and tape the one they want on the back yeah. to the back of the window. And you're going to see it. You see it? It's there. Because, you know, honestly, usually California kind of knows that they're in the front window. But once you hit Nevada and stuff, they just immediately... I've had a guy get pulled over six times on the way to Montana once. It sucks, and I feel awful, and the guy was kind of mad at me. I'm like, look, At man, sorry. Like fine to pay every time. It's like, look, That's true. we've got it. They, in Montana, they used to take your fines. It'd be. I remember when I was a kid, it's $5 for speeding. It was, wasn't even called speeding. It was waste of resources. And you paid the cop right there. Montana now, they don't, they finally get a speeding limit. Well, we got to feel like 15 years ago. Well, they finally got, they finally got an um, open container law. <laughs> Up until 10 Is years ago, right? it was just, it was just, <laughs> if you could pass a field sobriety, you were good. See, like, uh, it's bad it's up like, there. Less, less regulation. If we kill ourselves, that's our fault. There ain't nobody out there, and that's how right. some people looked at it. And they're got to, it's sad sometimes. You see some guy, and he, I, my buddy was a cop, and I had beer cans all over the road. He had a wreck. Yep, that's bad. <laughs> it's bad, but whatever. I don't know. He paid for his life. I mean, that's right. Um, you want me to start it? You want to hear yeah, it? Some stuff it up, like that. Yeah. What do you do, by the way? I do a lot of different things. I right now do bottle in the house. We do it all. <laughs> so you just bought it at auction, huh? This is an auction. It was a. Trade in. So this thing's clean and trade in, I believe, is what it was. Oh. New car trade in. Ninety percent of the stuff I get is new car trade in. Well, you did pretty good. I don't even want to know the price you paid for because I figured this is fair as long as I don't go down the road and the engine drops out. Or oh no, this crazy. thing's clean. I can't. I I don't get them a lot where they'll have all the stickers and everything still on it. This guy took care of it. it usually, there's a lot of detail on the engine. They'll, there's always something for me to fix. That AC thing is the worst thing. On this stuff, I never even replace light bulbs and the stuff I get. Just I, I don't. I, it's just me here. I don't have anybody else. And if it was I mine, I would do it. This guy, I'm telling you, every about three or four years, we need to get another one of these. Man, you know? anything you need, I'll even take you to the auction. SUV. Anything. No, I don't anything. mind paying you as long as it's not going to quit me. You know, going down the road on the way back to Wyoming. I always hope that nothing ever quits. This I thing could blow up tomorrow, but I don't yeah. think I, I, I've done everything. I drove this thing for a little while, probably about, I get about two or three, four weeks out of them, and that's about what I'll get. And then, then when I take pictures, I'm like, okay, I've got to park it, I've got to, I don't want to get some door dings in it, because then I start parking at the other end of the parking lot and everything. Once it's on there. I don't like driving this thing. You go find a cleaner, less dinged up, and when you pop the, the interior and you look at the seats on this truck, no, nah, these seats don't last like that. It's clean. I, I, I don't like parking it. just bought a Spurban. In San, in San Francisco. Five years ago, up here in San Jose, it's up here in San Francisco. It's like we did the same thing. We're always needing to buy an SUV about every four But the gas price was four bucks a gallon then. Oh, wow, I remember that. Three grand, <laughs> three grand for it had 90,000 miles. Nobody wanted, wanted the gas. I was like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like, we need this for what we do. I was buying 454s and um, 460s back then like crazy, like them big dualies and stuff. Nobody wanted them. Yeah. Now the price has dropped. These do okay on the highway. So honestly, the difference between this and this, I've been driving this around a little bit, and it's five-cylinder turbo and all that. You just feel so much tighter and safer. And they say these are safe. <laughs> feels like a tin can to me, yeah, even though. Have airbags on it. It's got so many airbags on it, it's pitiful. And it's cheap. It's the, You know what? It's less money than this by a grand. But it's a lot less car, too. <laughs> this is a we need to haul trailers. Oh, it's a haul anything. You this know that. 5.7. Five, five, this should be the 5.7 of this year, I believe. Yeah, 5.7. Oh, so it's probably newer, like 03 or something? No, it's a I think it's, I think it's a 99. Oh, wow, they did come out with that earlier. Yeah. Um, did she send you marshmallows by any chance? Okay, cool. Make sure you got them. Okay. We well, weren't sure what... I still them by the truckload. Okay. <laughs> I, it's no, I, saw, I saw on the thing... I started like, selling them with... Domain names, like cereal marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I got a lot. I got 200 names. Why did they send a bag of marshmallows? If you ever are baking a cake and you mix them in, it'll make little colored holes. If you sprinkle them on top, they won't melt, and they'll make like a frosting. Yeah. People put them in oatmeal. I'm in the Minchies in Canada, but I just started selling them with no cereal in them, and 
We sell the hell out of them now, especially in the Christmas time. People just buy them like crazy. But yeah, that's different. Something different to give people. Well, I try. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't know what they are. I'm gonna leave you my car because I I love that if we can. We can work together, you know. I'm telling you for years, you know. Oh, so you do radio stuff? Yeah. I own the radio station there. Oh, cool. So I'm like, it's oldies. It's, like it's oldies. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Number one in Greeley for. I um, I had that when I when I served my when I sold my first million bottles of pills, I um, I sold uh, weight loss vitamins and such. I had a ring made just like Elvis's. I had everything except I put gold nugget in the middle because I'm a big Elvis fan. I, gotta, I don't think he's alive or nothing. I don't think he's alive. <laughs> he's the most popular Elvis entertainer in Colorado. Oh, really? I'm my morning DJ. One of my morning what, man, what town are you in? Greeley. Greeley, Fort Collins? Is that... Yeah, that's Denver. below Denver. Denver. No, oh, above Denver. Springs, north. Fort Collins, Greeley. My family's all up there. A lot of my family. I'm 50 miles from Cheyenne. Yeah. Now, I don't mean to be bad to you, but... I didn't like Wyoming much. <laughs> okay, I didn't like. <laughs> I drove. I went to that Devil's Peak thing when I we got a ranch in Wolf Point, Montana, way over by Glasgow. And so I figured, well, I'm going to San Diego. I'm gonna drop down through Wyoming. Yeah. It's a long drive. <laughs> Damn it. I like the little towns. I like the western look. I like that for a vacation. It's cool, but here's some. I thought it was desolate in Montana. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And and a day like today. Wyoming is windy or windy in Chicago. The wind kills you, yeah. Like 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 East Montana. Day, you put a 40 mile an hour Cut right through you. It's like, People move to Wyoming, here? they're like, oh, we love it out here. And they stay one winter, they're like, we're oh, out of here. Are so many of them. So many of them <laughs> Do you guys do YouTube big time for your station or what? Nope, not YouTube. We stream it. Yeah, we don't do much. You know, our, our audience, we're number one all, in all age parts, but 50 plus, obviously. So you probably are bigger into Facebook stuff on your page and stuff. Facebook, yeah, a lot of Facebook. Yeah, not much you do. Interesting. Small town, well, small town. You're in a huge town. Missoula, I say small town, it's like 100,000. My buddy has a radio station there, and they're like three or four DJs I know. They really have had a blast over the last 15 years. They didn't have a big established station. They really came up. Oh, really? They've had a blast really building it in there and yeah. watching it grow. It's cool. The oh, really? Yeah. You guys clear everything? Oh, really? Yeah. That's part of the reason. We have one transmitter that's on top of a mountain. We have one SUV. So how yeah. big of a thing do you do? Like 40, 50 miles? No, we're pretty small, about 20 miles. That's big. 20, but, well, I guess around here, we, you know, the airplane right flew right over your cut on the way into the airport. Oh, so you've seen some of our, t you know what you're looking at. <laughs> you know what you're looking at. And in a bank right there, it's like, man, look at this, it's just awesome. That's just cool. see those towers in there. But yeah, we have, we are killing, we have a lot of listeners. Huh? For a small town, you know. Well, you don't see many oldie stations anymore. Well, out here especially, it's all started, there's so many Spanish stations that really started taking over. Yeah. Everything I used to listen to when a kid, half of them are all in Spanish now. And different that's stuff. why we're doing so well. There's no competition for us. Really? None. I don't, wow. So it's sweet. I mean, Elvis is pretty popular. The Beatles are pretty popular. Yeah, everybody <laughs> on your card is pretty popular. It's like, that's easy. Huh? So, that's interesting. I never... Let's get you paid, buddy. Okay, let's get... Um, let me... Here, why don't I have... You do this to where it's all perfect. <laughs> I don't like paperwork. Perfect. I can take money. I can do that. I'm really good at that. Um, where were we on it? Is I don't know which. Six thousand. Six thousand left. Five hundred. Okay. Yeah. We just need a receipt for it. I've got that in that paper. My dad got a fake hundred dollar bill from the bank the other day. No from kidding. The bank. From the bank. <laughs> It must have been pretty good. <laughs> That's what he was where's thinking. He front, where's he at here? He's here. I was going to say, boy, well, I bet you got some real pros. They actually there. gave it back. They actually took care of it from He knows them really well. But, like. Be scary. Yeah, you want to do it on the hood here? Yeah, you can open the door or whatever you need. Now, you guys rented a car? Yeah, it was 20 bucks. San Diego is the cheapest for car rentals around. It was $12 for the car and $12.33 for the fees. Isn't that insane? You can't even you can't even Uber for that. Samantha. Yes. It's six thousand left on this? Um try and get me after that. Six hang on. Six zero six five. Okay, whatever. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Um, bye. bye. So she was busting your balls or something or not? seeming normal or something or 
You know, she seemed okay. It just seemed the first conversation we had, she was very much, this gonna happen this way, or we just don't do it. That was the impression I got. I mean, every conversation since, maybe you talk. It's okay. Well, I said something. It's like, all of a sudden, I, she's like. She's my ex wife, and she's still helping me with paperwork and stuff. And, um, so. No, she, she's okay. She's doing. Um, and sometimes I have issues, somebody says something, and I'm sorry, I wasn't looking to cause no, you no. any issue. And it might be also, she might just be having an issue over 99.9, I don't, I, you're probably the first person I've seen in the last five months doing this. Um, I never get them stickers, I go to the DMV and get them just for you. You'll have a new one that she'll send you, she'll send it out today, and it'll be from Montana for when you're at home. Oh. And you can drive on that sticker for 30 or 40 days. What do most people do? On transport, ship them. Oh, the ship. They're all shipped out. If it touches the road, you owe tax. With this, you don't owe tax. Gotcha. You can't leave here with my permit because my permit won't save you the tax here. This permit says you can drive it in California. So with this one, so she gets all weird on that and I just went and got I had an extra one and that will work for here. Just so we just need something to get, get us out of home. here. And that, and if they give you a, a hassle when you get out of here, this is supposed to work all the way. I've had them hassle people before. Well, you're this is it's a California one. Okay. It's a continual. Okay, one continuous trip. It's one Lakes continuous like trip, and so oh, you know what I mean. They can somebody, and if you have a problem, call her. Have them call her. We'll do anything we can, well, but it should be okay. She sent me an electronic copy of the purchase agreement, so I have that on my phone. Yeah. If there's an issue. Hopefully, we won't get pulled over. We can get out of God, I bet you a lot of people say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all just passed people recreational marijuana, so all our people, as it's getting cold, are yeah, coming Colorado here. Colorado was celebrating. Oh, that's true. You guys go back and forth now, huh? I couldn't wait for them to get We can't wait till you get, get all the potheads and they... Get them out of there? Get them out of there. they start holding signs, even more signs than you guys did. Yeah, all of our... So, okay. All of our homeless people did are now... Did it cause a problem? It dramatically increased the number of people She's panhandling. Paramedic. She writes she the number of people what? Panhandling. And really? The number of people. So what? It brought a lot of young kids there that are just begging for money they to get weed. Because they test positive, they smoke dope on the weekends. So nobody will. <laughs> <laughs> so the only thing protest. they can do is stand on the corner and beg for money to smoke more weed. So we get dramatically more standing on the corner. And now they're going to. Now what about the tax base? Is it giving you more? Do you feel something uh, happening on that? A little more tax base, and you can look where the governor's even said we can't tell you. It's been five years. But they can't. I the, think the problem is they're not offsetting the extra costs of medical and police. Medical and police. Huge costs for that, and he won't say that, but it's huge cost. She's on the ambulance. It used to be all alcohol. The ambulance was ninety percent alcohol. Well, really. Beating your wife up because of whatever. I got nothing against it. I personally will smoke. I don't. I don't. I don't care one way or the other. I don't know what it does with the legality because I don't think all people have to work, want to work, right. and are going to make that part of their life. I think they'll just, like you're kind of saying, kind of gravitate towards where it's legal and just hang out wanting to smoke pot all their lives. And yeah. that's bad. I don't think it's nothing wrong with a little pot here or there or something, but I don't know what the big effect is going to be. That's going to be interesting. Hearing it like that is really interesting. Your beaches and it's going to get bad, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I just, uh, you will have hoodlums coming. Because they just hang around, they can't work. And See, Montana, they had a pro they made it legal medically, right. and I know people that got a permit. They made it really hard medically, and then they made it. It's medical there too, right? No, it's, it's recreational free. now. They just made it. They took away the medical. Yeah. They it want was the tax. For quite a few years. <laughs> now, now it's recreational, it's recreational. whatever. Interesting. I, I went to Netherlands ten years, twelve years ago, and I went for five years straight, and it was kind of interesting meeting all the people over there that it's just it, it was just commonplace yeah, yeah right. and it was more places you smoked and it was Probably weird meth and everything else is legal isn't it not meth. no basically they have a they call it google girlfriend or something where it's like what doesn't hurt me doesn't matter to me it shouldn't concern me do what you want and so they will have like they have like a park where back then there was like junkies in it all the time and stuff but it's clean it's just an old town it's kind of like walking around in portland all the time it's just kind of old and crap crappy parts of it but i loved it the people were awesome never felt like i needed to be carrying a gun never felt like i was gonna get jumped or beat up when you see a cop they were all nice to me and stuff in fact the cops hanging out in front of the pot shops talking to the people that were passing and helping people it was interesting here we have good cops and we have not so good cops. I think we got a little of both. Yeah, <laughs>
Do you have a receipt? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let me get you two more things here. Just so I can not lose it. <laughs> Remember where I spent my money. Hey, this isn't your car. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Um, let me get some tape, too. Yeah, get some tape. We'll put one in the front, one in the back. That'd be a great suggestion. Well, this Six thousand. Well, the front does. The one does, oh, but yeah, the other yeah. one doesn't. Take that in. You don't have a you have a spare tire here. Do you have a jack? Is there a jack in there? Do you know that? Let's look in the back. When you're hard on your cell phone. Oh man. It's got a case too. I'll tell you what, I carry four of them. <laughs> they cut me off on data. I have unlimited Verizon and I use a terabyte a month. Whoa. And so like they oh, sent me a letter. Huh? Yeah, uploading the videos. They wanted um they wanted eight thousand dollars a month. And I'm like, I can't, I can't give you that. <laughs> They're like, well, it's still not even that. It only gets me to 500 gigs. And I'm like, no. I said, I ain't leaving. I'm not leaving. And they said, well, you have to pick a new plan. I said, I ain't picking a new plan. It's been five months. I keep paying them their money every month. If my bill's like 350, they take the money. They tell me I have to pick a new plan. I say no. I send them the money again. They made a deal with the government when they bought their bandwidth that they can't throttle people. That was what Verizon's thing was. And now they're not throttling me. They're kicking me off. I'm not leaving. That's, I ain't no reason to leave. Right. I'm paying my bill. That's awesome. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to make a video on it, too. Yeah, uh-huh. Did you yep. think of that, too? Yep. Let me get you, um, let me see if I got tape cut. These people are super cool. Super cool. As a seller, you're just not ready to meet cool people. You're ready to meet assholes. Yep. When I started this, I didn't think these people were going to be such cool people. I figured for sure they just wanted something I couldn't deliver. But I don't believe that for a second now. Don't worry about that guy. Don't worry about that guy? <laughs> I just seen you guys out here. Then I got to thinking I need to talk to him. And... He's just buying the Escalade. Oh, where's it going? Oh, He's yeah. in Colorado. Colorado. He owns an okay. oldies station. Huh? He owns an oldies radio station. That's what I like. The 60s? <laughs> yeah. The 50s, 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 60s. 60s. Really? Yeah. Hey, look at there. That's what I like. Either that or old yeah, country. Long time, man. Old country. They started making it again, and I, That's awesome. I ordered by the. Here you go, too. I don't know if you guys smoke, yeah, sure. but. Talk here. Puff on them. Just initial that for the six grand in cash, just so I. <laughs> Did you get the other one? Uh uh. That's the only one I got. Oh, okay. hang on now. I just want to make sure I got a receipt for the. So how far? Oh, this one's mine, that one's yours. Oh, okay. Perfect. I just care that you're down on the road without that, but you got it, so. That works. Can expand it. That work? Yep. Okay. That's all I needed. And then I think. Oh, this tight. Wherever you tape, think I think just tape this one to the back. Yeah. And I think put on this back. one in the front. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. What do you think about this? I hate these things. Yeah. They're going all the way to Colorado with no plates. This taped in the back window, that one taped in the front window. Which one? The other one? The back of this? The receipt? Sure. That way they got something on the back. Is it the passenger one? Yeah, uh, the passenger in the back should work. Okay, I like one way or the other, you got it on the car. That's right. It's on the car. Tell him the guy that tell him the guy that the other guy was an idiot to put it on here. Blame it on me. <laughs> I don't know anything. I think the outside with these tinted windows. Come on now. Oh, you went up. Yeah. Was that fun? You guys sound like you do some road tripping. You ever go up the coast here and hit all the sequoia, like the? I haven't been all the way up. I've been up as far as Oceanside. My brother was stationed at Pendleton for a while. Somewhere. Do you have more of a nail than me? We drove up a couple times. Up past Frisco, going to Oregon, it is so pretty up there. Boom. Nate? 
No, Nate's gone. <laughs> man, you cleaned up good, man. <laughs> you didn't, I'm getting so much crap about shaving. <laughs> my, good, beer, my beer was like down to here a couple days ago, huh? Like Doug Dynasty. Doug, it was like Doug yeah, Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, with a picture you had on Facebook. I Thanks showed my wife. Montana, you're going to get that. It's easier to be incognito. They just, <laughs> they don't pay attention to you. They just think you're homeless. I like it. It's on the passenger side, you think? Yes, I think so. Is it open? Oh, okay. It's a better idea to go back down to the San Diego airport, like kind of outside of town, or right down through. This road right here is the best one. Just take it straight down and down to 8. 52. 52 to 805 probably, yeah. That's, that's probably the best way. And then you're heading out to, yeah. And then you'll just catch the, Get out of most of the 15, I think, is where you'll leave. You take the 15 all the way up? After we're, after we're done. We oh, gotta return go. the rental car and then... You guys hanging out for a couple days in town or something? Or you just getting back? I think we're gonna probably try to make Vegas tonight. Vegas is nice. This is, and middle of the week, you can't beat Vegas. It's like 40, 50 bucks a night. It's yeah. nice stuff. <laughs> yeah. I like Vegas. Um, you know what? This one. What's that? The front one. Oh, the front one? Yeah. I thought you said passenger. Side. Yeah, passenger front. Passenger. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. I should have had it done for you. A little higher, girl. So can, yeah, right in there. Can't hardly miss that. No, I don't think they can have a problem with that. Well, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, if you ever need something just dingy or whatever, these things are coming through. Like, they, they won't have no more of them, they'll have something different, but this thing, 10,000 original miles. Oh, it's four. Yeah, we, we, they popped them through 08 with 10,000 miles, and I think he paid about... Her, Are you telling him about my truck? Yeah, yeah. tell him how cheap you can get them. My brother have a ranch up in Did you get a runner over? No, I'm back up, we're forward. Thank you. Hey now. Can I have that razor blade, Nate? Yes. Huh? <laughs> uh, so I'm not far from you, but. Uh, oh yeah, you're pretty close from his Wyoming. He's he's from Wyoming. Wow. Brand new. I mean, cool. I'm serious. I've got an 07 uh, crew cab dually, and I like driving this better. It's an F350. I'm gonna sell that and keep this, or I'm gonna sell it. You know what I mean? Uh, Plus, they think you're the government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does look a little government-like. Yeah. <laughs> One of my subscribers said these are used for sonar, and that's why it had the racks. They're used for the sonar to catch the tunnels by the border. That's what they were using them for. And that's why they don't have no miles. They just sit out there and did sonar. And they had a generator at the back. Big generator. Uh. All right, well, I'm going to go get some fencing and stuff. I Have poured fun. some mud up there. The concrete truck was worried if he falls in the septic tank, the whole truck falls over. They made me sign, and I'm thinking, my God, i got to find that septic tank. Who knows where the septic tank is? It's either that or trench plates. But I ain't buying a stinking hundred thousand. Too bad you don't have your sonar anymore. Yeah, isn't that <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Have fun. See ya. Bye, Ed. I'll be, I'll be listening to that radio Okay, do it, buddy. Can you catch it online? Online. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. I'm so old. I don't I, I don't catch that kind of stuff until, like, whoa. I know that's just the front. You know what? I wouldn't even have a smartphone if I didn't have to have it to have glass. I've still got a Palm Pilot. That's embarrassing, but I've still got a Palm Pilot. I've had Palm Pilot for a long time. My buddy has a Blackberry. I have a Palm Pilot, and we get we get made fun of big time. But they're 10 bucks on eBay when you break it. Right. Hey, what about, you know, my brother has a ranch in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. He goes through, like, a... He likes the 90s Chevy pickups. Oh, yeah. Just 1500s. Do you have many of those? Now and then they'll come through like every. Yeah. yeah I, I, I buy a lot of them with like 50 to 125,000 miles on them. Yeah. But um, you get mostly two buys down here. But once in every great while they'll come through. Like if, if you know somebody that wants something like that within two 
to 10 weeks, I can find that exact truck. You guys got any elk on your dad's property? Elk? Elk. What? Maybe. <laughs> I knew you were thinking about saying it or not. <laughs> I could tell by that look I was closer. Like, I don't know. Rockin' 7 Ranch, book it. Rockin' 7 Ranch. Hey! Rockin' Seven Ranch! What now? Rockin' Seven Ranch! Dot com. Hey. He'll text here, you can let him know. If you ever want to go up for antelope... my brother's hunting lodge. That's his place? Yeah. If you guys ever want to go up for antelope and deer, he's got 10,000 acres done with the island, and they all go right over onto the island, and then you just drive over to the island and drive around and shoot whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. You get like 12 tags out there. You like you do. So people either like antelope or they don't like antelope. You know what? If you soak it, or if you season it well, you can hardly taste the gaminess. Really? really? He thinks it's like sheep, but he's never had a sheep. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, you gotta try sheep before you say. He goes, yeah, it, it's gonna be a lot like a sheep. He says. I saw. I already know. Oh, everything tastes like snake. Yeah, that too. That's yeah, it's all yeah. chicken and snake. Lots, yeah. a lot less gamey. So you've tried snake. Yeah, I haven't tried steak. I don't have the I don't have the ball. <laughs> My friend got a jellyfish. It's like chicken, but it's just rubber band. Ah. Just a thought. It does squeak. Yeah. Kind of. Oh man, that didn't make it worse. <laughs> My friend got a jellyfish in Vegas a couple months ago, and I was like, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. I don't know if I could do the texture of jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> Alligator. My brother's been to Korea. He, yeah, your brother he's had that. dog, What's whale. that stuff was still moving when he was eating? Oh, what God. Baby octopus. octopus. Oh, man, I couldn't so do it. So you buy these little baby octopus, and you have to crunch their brain before they stick to your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to meet you over there. Okay. Hey, very Thank nice you, to meet man. you guys. I'll check out your station yeah. online. Have fun. Very nice to meet you. All right, Thank you. Over here. Okay. okay, there they go. They're down there. I'm out here. Dad is gone, and we're done. That is, another one bites the dust. Okay, well, like I say, likely the coolest clients I've had and I feel very confident in the car that they got it's a good car um, I like the people they're very nice people you know you don't get to meet people like that very often there's always always gonna be some problem man that was smooth and nice just I, I felt like I knew the guy I, I like it and I like them they're just neat people I, I, I'm, I'm bubbling about it because you just expect bad Especially with some of the problems I was having with them not getting along with Samantha there. And who knows, sometimes you get along with this person, sometimes you don't get along with that person. He liked me when he said on the phone, he seemed like I was a nice guy and I had a good demeanor about me. Hell, that there in and of itself tells you something wrong with him, right? I ain't got a nice demeanor, I'm a fucking asshole. But no, really, just certain people click certain ways and maybe they just had a bad off thing there and I think maybe she was confused on the permits or something who knows it doesn't matter all that matters is life is happy complete and that you do your best at doing what you do we've turned this into a message now thanks for watching we'll talk to you I didn't even make him pay me the $65 for paperwork or the $35 for the permit that's a hundred dollars I just gave up Shit, he was a nice guy, wasn't he?